Okay, so I've come into college today with my Rubik's Cube and I'm going to ask a few people if they can solve it. And um, let's see what happens because the majority of my friends have no clue. They've been seeing me solve it for the past weeks and they still don't know how to do it. So, let's see what happens. Solve that as much as possible. Yeah, that's going to I just want to see as far as you can go. I, I don't know how to make Rubik's Cube at all. If that's just like one side. Mate, I'm not going to lie to you, right? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Alright, we'll try this. Okay. What's here? This is so hard! <laughs> This is where it ends. Are you going to give up the right there? I don't want him, man. <laughs> I don't want to give up that easily. What side are you trying to work with? I'm trying to get one of those two onto there. Okay. It's not going well. you got to watch where you go. you got to fix your mistake after you've made it. I reckon India's actually sick. I've nearly done it, Gina. What? Wait, India's actually... That is actually proper impressive. Can I get these Jake, you're pulling away from me. Is that it? Okay. I give up. You're giving up? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fuck, you know what? I can't do it. No, I don't actually. Is that it then? No. I'll take it to the end. He says he can do it. I want to see it. There we go. He has done it. Out of all my friends, many gave up. However, two people managed to actually solve the cube. To understand how they solved it, I thought I'd take one apart to demonstrate how each piece is unique. There are three types of pieces on a Rubik's Cube. Center pieces, corner pieces, and middle pieces. There are 26 unique pieces on a Rubik's Cube. In speed cubing, contestants are provided a specific pattern to scramble the cube. After scrambling the cube, contestants are provided 15 seconds of inspection time before the solve. The world record holder Colin Burns solved the Rubik's Cube in 5.23 seconds. The beginner's method of solving a Rubik's Cube starts with a white cross. After achieving this, we work on the corner pieces of the white face. Next, we move down a layer, solving the middle section. After this, we work on the yellow face. With the yellow face complete, we work on correcting all the corner pieces. Finally, we complete the cube with the last algorithm. 
I've only been able to solve Rubik's Cubes for a few weeks now. However, I have a friend who's been doing it way longer. Three, two, one. Explain to me what a Ruby's cube even is, because a Rubik's Cube is a puzzle. It's a way to relieve stress as well. It's like therapy and it produces a lot of satisfaction when solved. Um, I use it as like a brain teaser as well because it warms you up, gets you ready for your brain to become active and ready to learn, ready to uh, take in everything in everyday life, I guess. I learned to solve the Rubik's Cube at school. I saw my friend do it and I really wanted to learn it so I could ever do it faster than him and stuff like that because I don't know, it's quite an impressive skill. How long did it take you to learn to solve the Rubik's Cube? Um, to learn to solve the Rubik's Cube it probably took me about a month without, a month. yeah, about a month without, uh, without instructions. So I could solve it, but I'd have to like recap myself every so often. But then eventually, after about a month, I could just do it. Just from muscle memory and just uh, just knowing the algorithms of what to do. The way I learn is a mixture of, of videos from YouTube and Google and stuff like that, and then also my friends told me, like, "Oh, do this; it's faster," or "Do that," you know. And then, but I've just kind of merged them all together to create a method, which is fairly fast. It allows me to solve it in like under a minute. But and then now I've just got to learn how to do it quicker. Like the first time you solved it, how quick do you think you were? Um, probably took like four minutes. <laughs> compared to under a minute now is pretty ridiculous, but so, it's just because muscle memory now, I just know how to do it without already thinking about it. Yeah, it's just practice that makes you quicker and quicker. Yeah. Okay. Other than like that Ruby's cube, what other cubes do you have there? This is a Diane, which is a speed cube. Because uh, of these bits, they uh, cut the corners so you can do it a lot faster and smoother making the time faster and more of a satisfying uh, activity. And then I have this weird domino cube and the numbers link with each other just like dominoes but it's just in a cube format. And it's quite, it's actually fairly tricky to solve mainly because it's so stiff and robust but other than that it's, it's a little brain teeter I guess, different from a normal cube so um, worth using it. Um, do you find it like addictive? Um, yes, you can't half solve it and then put it down. You have to finish it, otherwise it just doesn't feel right. It's like singing half a song and then just, that's it, turn it off next time. You can't do it, it's like OCD I guess, and an addiction. But, you know, I can solve it, then put it down and walk away, but if it's mid midway through, it's just, can't put it down, I have to clear it.